The end goal for total knee replacement is to relieve pain, restore function, and natural movement. All things Shirley Allen was sorely missing. I fell a lot and it wasn't fun. It didn't keep Shirley from trying. Her active lifestyle and minimal disfigurement made her a good candidate for a new form of knee replacement, the only one that spares the ACL. Shirley was one of the first in the country to get one. The doctor did the surgery. Four weeks later, I went in and he said, oh, by the way, you're the only person in Florida that has a knee like that. Dr. Ed Humbert is Shirley's surgeon. Keeping your ACL will give you more of a kinematically normal acting knee. It's going to actually bend and flex and extend exactly like your knee does before the surgery. So. In a standard knee replacement, surgeons cut the ACL so they can place the new joint. The new design of the XP knee includes a cutout for the ACL and is shaped to wrap around the ligament. The only thing that changes is the surface area of the contact of the cement to the bone is much less with this newer XP knee, but otherwise you can't keep the ACL. Finding the right candidate is important in rolling out a new knee. Someone who actually has good motion and they're strong and just has an arthritic knee and has a solid strong ACL on physical exam, they're a candidate to put this knee in. Surely fit the bill, and so far her artificial knee has lived up to its reputation. The recovery was, was easy and I don't limp, it does feel like a natural knee. A knee that's creating a new normal that feels almost familiar. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.